Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you follow me on Instagram already, then you'll know that I love doing illusion makeup and arty kind of themed makeup looks. So today I'm going to be doing something very exciting. If you haven't already seen from the title, I'm going to be doing a watercolour painting illusion makeup look. <laughs> so basically I'm turning myself into a watercolour painting. I'm not sure how. I mean, it's pretty similar to the kind of looks I've done before, so I'm guessing it'll be all right, but but either way, I'm excited to see how it turns out. So let's just get straight into the video. So I've already primed my skin. I do like to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer as a primer and moisturizer in one. I like to use that before I do illusions. And it's just a really nice primer. It moisturizes your skin and primes your skin, which is great because obviously with illusion makeup, you do end up wearing a lot of makeup on your face. So you want something that's gonna keep your skin moisturized for as long as possible because obviously this does take a while and then obviously you're gonna have the makeup on for a while. So you want your skin to be moisturized for as long as possible in that duration time, if that makes sense. Now, if you tend to use face paint in a lot of your looks too, then you'll know that Snatsu is a great brand to go to and I use the White Clown face paint. I think this is the only face paint I do tend to use in my makeup looks, I don't tend to use anything else um, along the lines of face paint, I just use makeup but this I use for the white um, in my makeup looks because it's so strong pigmented and it's just really good. So I'm going to apply the white all over my face um, with this little brush here, I'm just going to literally go straight in and start spreading it on my face. Now what I like, I realised last time I used this is pattern, patting in on my skin was less streaky, which is obviously what we want, and gave it a more realistic kind of look, making me look more like a canvas. So obviously this is to really give the illusion I am the canvas, I am the drawing, and then we'll do obviously the watercolour effects over the white afterwards. But this is just really just turning my face into a canvas so we can do the watercolour effects really easily. So this can take a while. So I'm just going to speed through this part while I pat my whole face in white clown face paint and then you can watch me do it a little bit quicker. <laughs> I apologise for the quality of the filming, I don't know what's happened but each time I've done this and I've painted my face white like this for a look, the camera starts going weird and it's like it, my face is basically brighter than my backdrop so it just goes like super dark in the background so I apologise. So now I've literally covered my face, I'm going to start covering my ears as well. Or just the side that I'm going to show in the look. Obviously, if you're if you're wanting to do this and go out, then probably do both ears. But um, I'm just going to do the one. So yeah, now I'm going to apply the white clown face paint face. Pa no, the white base powder. I'm getting everything mixed up. I'm just going to get it on a fluffy brush. It's very thin. And that translucent, so I think I can just dab it on, and it should be fine. So, this is the Morphe M527 brush, I've never used this before, so I'm just swelling that into there, and then just kind of patting that everywhere. I don't know what it will do, maybe it'll just kind of give it a bit of a softer finish. I don't know. I guess it does give it a bit of a not so harsh finish, I don't know. It looks a bit smoother, which is what we want because we want it to look as smooth as possible. This is like the fluffiest brush I've fluffiest brush I've ever used. Look at that. It's crazy. So I feel like the white face powder has given me more of a Kind of smoother finish which is what we want obviously so I think it's not too bad I'll just keep applying a bit more but I do like the effect it has on 
and have matted it out a bit so it's not too sticky. So now for the watercolour effect. So first of all what I did do is go on Pinterest and looked up some watercolour paintings just for different effects to kind of find out what I like, what I think would work. Um, so I'll show you guys different effects that I found. So obviously this is like a normal kind of watercolour painting, it looks quite realistic which is obviously something that I'd like to go for. Um, and then we have quite an impressionism kind of look here. It's kind of like impressionist painting of like watercolours, which is also really nice. And then we have this, which I fell in love with. And I fell in love with the idea. So I'm feeling like that one will be the concept I'm gonna go for where it's certain parts of your face that are um, watercolored. So I do have some little kind of, what are they called? Pigment pomades from Revolution Pro. Um, they come in these little containers here. I have blue, I have pink, yellow, pink, yellow, red, green, just quite a few. But obviously because this is more of a skin tone look that this girl has got, we're gonna try and achieve that. So. I'm thinking of using a foundation and then mixing that with a bit of the Revolution mixing liquid so it's runny, so it runs down my face and looks, you know, watercolourish. So we'll see how it goes. I've never tried this before, so hopefully it will work. I'm going to go in with the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I've got a little container here and I'm going to just put in some of my new Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation by NYX in the shade cappuccino i'm just gonna put a little bit of that into the container just a little bit because obviously we've not tried this before so just tiny this a little bit you can see that and then just put in a little bit of the mixing fluid in there with it just to see what it does i mean i'm not i've not heard of people using mixing fluid with foundations so we will see we'll put a couple of drops there and then i use the pencil brush to kind of mix it and see what happens Oh, it turns into like a paint. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it kind of like many bits turned into a bit of a paint, which is what we want, and it looks like watercolour, which is perfect. So I'm gonna start off here. I don't know what I'm doing guys, so <laughs> it's all be fun. So to start off, obviously we want my face to kind of look like half sketch, half watercolour. So I'm gonna go in with the brand new NYX Professional Makeup That's The Point Hella Fine Liner. I uh, featured this in my last video um, and it's a brilliant liner for just kind of like sketching out things on your face and doing your eyeliner really fine. So I'm gonna just sketch out my eyebrow, just the underside of my eyebrow and then we'll start the watercolour under there if you get my drift. So I'm just gonna Follow the natural line of my brow, like that, and kind of like so, and same with the other one. And then I'm going to just sketch out around my eye a really graphic liner, but then we're going to run it and make it look kind of Runny, if you get me. So we're just gonna sketch out my eye that we've drawn it. So going underneath my eye, I'm kind of sketching that out too. And the outer bits of my eye. Then we want it to look drawn on. And then we're gonna do like a bit of a liner kind of look. Remember we're doing this to make it look like it's me, but that I'm painting. <laughs> so we'll come back to the liner later, I think. Yeah. So I'll leave that there. And then we're going to go into the foundation that we mix with the mixing fluid, liquid, and then just going to start dabbing it under here. Kind of really going with the with the because I'm not really worrying about it too much because obviously if you do art or if you've seen 
for doing art is quite a fluid thing with watercolour. It's not really too much pressure in trying to get it like lining up with anything in particular. I'm just trying to follow the sketch at the same time and also try and follow the contours of your face because I think is the most important part of doing something like this. So just kind of following the contours of my nose or where the shadows hit my nose. So I'm just cleaning off the brush a bit and then I'm going to add, I'm going to go into the red. Um, it, this is the Red Revolution Pro Pigment by Made in Classic Red. And I'm going to get loads of mixing fluid in there. Liquid. And then just kind of dabbing that into that and just getting as much product as possible on the brush and just kind of dabbing that in between of what we've done because when you look at watercolour paintings it's never um it's never just one colour it's all a bit different colours because they try and go off what colour your skin is and you know different things like that so that's what we're trying to do here so just kind of dabbing into these bits with the red now we've done that I'm gonna go in and add some yellow because yellow would really carry that off and just start dripping down the face. So we're gonna, in this bit, it's gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna add as much mixing fluid. So I'm gonna just go with the yellow under here, dabbing as much of that in there and just kind of letting it run down naturally. And what I'm gonna do is add a bit more into the same track, if you get me. So, it runs down my face really naturally. I don't want to push it down with the brush, I just want it to run down by itself. And add in little bits of yellow in the bits we've already done. So I'm going to add some around my nose and the parts we haven't filled in yet. I'm going to go into the blue now, same Revolution Pro pigment. This is the colour Ocean Blue, and I'm going to do the same thing again with the mixing liquid. I'm just going to Really just get loads of that in the pigment and then I'm going to add some blue to this as well. I think if any of you do art, you if you ever did art or do art, then you know that when you do portraits and things like that, there's more than one colour in the face when it comes to painting. It's not just the skin tone, it's always more than that. So it's always kind of important to make sure you add those bits in. So I'm just looking at the my reference picture right now. I'm not doing it exactly alike, but I'm doing it quite similar. So I'm going to go to this, this eye now and just go under the eye. I'm dabbing in the blue. Because the beauty of watercolour is that you don't actually have to do the exact tones of the skin. You can do something completely different. So now what I want to do is just kind of add a little bit more of the same thing just all over my face in different areas and I think I'm going to add as well some purple just to kind of tie in with the wig that I have on. This wig is from Hair by Sleek by the way and um, I'll link that in the description box below. Um, I'm just going to add some purple running down from here so it looks like everything's painted including my wig. So I have the purple pigment here. Guys, do not put lip mixing fluid so close to your eye because I'm literally. Uh. Oh, yeah, that was painful. Anyway, these are real tears. I'm <laughs> gonna add that red. And I'm just gonna tilt my head and I'm just gonna dab it there. And I need to keep dabbing until it starts to run. <laughs> In the direction of my contour line. Yeah. And then down to create a very extreme contour. You get what I'm talking about, you know, like the chum chum <laughs> kind of business. Now 
for the black. Now the black is going to really intensify just certain parts of the face, just to kind of give it a more of a watercolour effect, as in, for example, with the picture I showed you around her eyes, there was quite an intense, a lot of black going on, a lot of intense colour. So I'm going to take a little angled brush, tiny, this is the Sigma Winged Liner Brush. I'm going to dip into the black, same pigment, same place. I'm just going to go around just the eyeliner part here and just the outskirts so we don't get it in my eye like I did before and hurt myself. And then we're going to try and add bits in here to kind of make it run down. Come on. Run. I kind of want it to bleed into other colours and just kind of naturally fall down my face. There we go. That's what we want. There we go. Yes. And then we're going to just draw that line. So it looks like a really nice wind liner. That's kind of failed. <laughs> I've done the jawline in a bit of a red and then I'm going to try and carry it onto a burgundy, some more mixing fluid in there, drag it down so the neck looks also watercolour, I can't leave out the neck guys, I cannot leave out the neck, dabbing that on and just letting it run, it seems to run easier on my neck, I don't know why, maybe there's less contact on that's fine, just kind of dabbing it in, run down, Man. <laughs> I'm going to draw some eyelids in too, so I'm going to just here. I'm drawing it above my above my actual crease, so you can see it. I don't add too much on my face that I don't need to. Do you get me? Like you have to know when something's kind of like almost there and you don't need to kind of overwork it. And that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me create this thing I mean I really love it I think it's really cool it's different as well I mean I've not seen people do a watercolor look so if you're wanting to recreate this please tag me in um, on Instagram with the hashtag cakefacerj or just tag my username and I should see them I'll be going through to see which ones I love most and just liking them and just you know so you know go on recreate it because you know you want to recreate it you know because it's so simple you know i hope you enjoyed like i said please subscribe like and tag a friend or just share it with a friend or whatever you do on youtube because i'm still really new to this thing i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>